So I just got back from my doctor's appointment. Um, I actually went to the dermatologist and um, well, people who know me know that I've had a mole on my forehead that I always hide with my bangs because I hate it. It's like my biggest insecurity. But today when I went to the dermatologist, look what they did. It was like so huge to me. Um, so I was actually really excited about it. Um, so I will show, I haven't even seen what it looks like. I should have even done it before, but I wasn't even thinking. But it's because I didn't know they were going to remove it today. I was just thought it was going to be like a consult type situation. But um, they were able to remove it. The lady was super nice. I do recommend her. But um, I'll definitely have to show you guys what it looks like when I remove it. But I have to keep it on for the next, like, I don't know. I think she said six days. Yeah. So we'll see. But I was just super excited. I couldn't wait to share that news with everybody because... Like, literally, I hated this mold to death. Like, oh, so ugly to me. Like, I know some people are like, oh, that's your beauty mark. But, I mean, this was just a thing for me. Like, I literally was so insecure about it. So, just wanted to share that news with you guys. Hope you're having a beautiful day. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Oh, and another thing. Um, they called me for my other doctor's office. My optometrist's office. How do you say it? I don't know, but my glasses are ready, so I'm going to pick those up on Friday because that's my next day off. Well, I, didn't, I don't even have today off. I just had an appointment scheduled for today because she's specialty. But um, I get to go pick up my glasses on Friday, so you guys will see those. I'm excited because I need them for a night when I'm driving. And at work, I'm on the computer all the time, so I need them for one of my work because your girl is getting blind. Well, I have astigmatism. Which is like, I don't know, I guess it's like spots in your eye that's messed up. I think that's how you explain it. But yeah, get to pick this up on Friday. I'm excited. But you guys will see that soon. My cuddle baby. <laughs> so I just got off of work. I got to take this little bit to school. Or not to school, to her grandparents' house. But. No, to where my hair is all messy and I have a bow in my hair. But first, where are we going to go? Starbucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I got to get out of the shirt because, yeah. You can't I'm gonna get out of the shirt. Clothes. Good morning, everybody. Why are you so beautiful? It's 6.45 a.m. I'm not beautiful. I'm tired. No, you are. I love your hair like that. I really do. And you don't have this, the curse of the straight hair. I am going to straighten my hair, though, that way. I can don't put... straighten it. Don't do it. I want to put my bow on my hair. Though. Let's go get Starbucks. Well, I got to change first, and then we're going to go Starbucks. All right. Quick outfit change. I wore a bridge so I can look like a... I'm just kidding. Are you ready to go? I got my new stunner shades on, though. I wear my stunner glasses at night. What you know about that song, Natalie? Nothing. 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 Let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Teenagers. Girl, turn the damn light off. So, as I was telling my niece, I don't want to sound all bougie and whatnot, but my trash man pissed me off not once but twice this morning <laughs> first he didn't even let me get into my house and so that already made me a little bit hangry and then that I had to park on the street not hangry but you know just angry pissed off whatever you call it and then right now we're back in the car because I'm gonna take my niece to well we're gonna go to Starbucks first and then go to her grandpa's house and yeah he blocked the freaking street again I was like, are you shitting me? And then not only that, he sees me waiting there. Even last time I had my blinker on. And he's just taking his sweet time, throwing the trashes in the trash. I'm like, oh, can't you one. move your big old mobile or something? Because I need to get into my house. Ugh. No, he does it one by one. Rudus Maximus. And he's looking at us. Road. And like, Road. Oh, let's. Hey, how would you like to keep it right here at all? Are they start selling? Mexican candy at Walmart. Look at they even have rocoletas and I freaking love these. I would eat these all the time when I was in Ensenada. Oh, these are bomb. Oh yes. I'm gonna get me these. 
got three hours of sleep. Now I just took a shower and I'm gonna go meet up with my cousin for dinner. New glasses, who this though? Who this? Excuse my face and my hair. It is all wet because I just got out of the shower. But this is day. God, my bangs are everywhere. This is day four of my mole being removed, and I wanted to show you guys. So that is what it looks like right now, day four. Um, I had to keep this band-aid on, I guess. Probably just, I guess, to prevent from infection. Um, it looks gross, but I think it's healing okay. It looks like just like a burn mark, kind of, I feel like. You know when you... They curl your hair and you burn it. That's what I feel like what it looks like. Um, it doesn't hurt. I'm sure if I would touch it, it would hurt, but I'm trying not to touch it. Excuse my ugly nails. They're not done because I ripped off my acrylic, so they look so gross right now. But, um, anyway, off the subject. Um, they didn't put any stitches. I'm not even sure if they burned it or if they just, like, numbed it and cut it off. I will have to double ask, but, or double check. I'm not too sure. But that's what it looks like, and I'm just going to bandage it up again. And I am getting ready to go to a reception. So that is what's happening right now. I don't know what kind of makeup look I'm going to do today, but hopefully it will come out good. Moving in your bedroom light Now you're dressed in black when I left you